Good day and welcome to the dining room table, New York City Mayor's Office public safety briefing regarding NYPD's technology and drones. Subscribe, like, and share. Here is Assistant Deputy Commissioner Lu Luis Molina, who is going to talk about the technologies and the drones that are used by NYPD. Uh, a lot of people are asking, you know, how are they using these drones? Why are they using these drones? When are they using these drones? So let's hear more from uh, them. We're out in the community. One question that we hear all the time is, what technology is the city using and how is it being used? It's been a major priority for Mayor Adams and all of us in the administration to make sure that we are leveraging technology effectively as well as responsibly. Our goal in leveraging any technology is to reduce and deter crime, operate more efficiently, and keep our officers and members of the public safe. One of the many ways we do that is by using drones to increase situational awareness, giving our officers a bird's eye view of an area to gather real-time information in an emergency or potentially dangerous situation. Having improved situational awareness allows law enforcement to make some informed decisions, provide better response, and ultimately keep the officers and the public safer. Deputy Inspector Gulinello oversees citywide drone operations, so I'd like to turn it over to him now to give us an update on the drone program, along with some of the other technologies the NYPD has been using recently. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, uh, Assistant Deputy Mayor Molina, for allowing me here to come here today, this afternoon, and speak where the NYPD currently is and the direction we are heading in the technology space. Technology plays a pivotal role in enhancing the effectiveness of public, our public safety mission, providing innovative solutions to address and mitigate various challenges to reducing crime, combating quality of life concerns, managing our workforce, connecting more with our communities, and increasing transparency and enhancing officer safety. <clears throat> For years now, New York City has been at the cutting edge of public safety technology. We are constantly exploring, evaluating, testing, and implementing new innovative technology with our goal of maintaining our position as leaders in the law enforcement technology industry. Within the past year, the Information Technology Bureau has had many technologically advanced, uh, technological advancements, but I would like to highlight some. Our domain awareness system enhancement. The domain awareness system is a central repository that officers across the city use every day to drive public safety. From providing situational awareness in response to their calls for service or providing contextual information to officers, it allows them to make well-informed decisions when encountering members of the public. The data, data analytics parts of DAS are powerful tools to analyze vast amounts of information quickly, identifying patterns and trends that can help us take proactive measures and implement preventative strategies. We have made great strides in building a fully redesigned platform with a new user interface, including an enhanced search engine on the back end. We've also built a lot of dashboards, which we have created many dashboards to help track metrics for varying data, data sets. Dashboards more effectively help track community engagement public events, public drone permitting statuses, or utilize a correlation between 9-11 or uh, 311 and violent crime data based on time and location to make better informed decisions on precise policing, policing measures, or correlating collision data based on times and locations to better identify crime uh, collision prone locations. Excuse me. Integration of community-based cameras. Since June of this year, the NYPD has been working with small business owners within the 109 precinct to integrate community-based cameras to help augment crime-fighting strategies. Community-based cameras help ca fill inherent camera voids, uh, excuse me, inherent camera deserts within local stores, which have great potential to help identify alleged... Now, I previously did a video regarding the amount of money that the federal government gave to the different states uh, and how much New York State got for cameras. So there's cameras everywhere. Aspects of crimes faster for responding patrol officers. We've created a special events map viewer. Every officer who works at a special event, such as the tree lighting, a major parade, or the New Year's Eve celebration coming up next weekend, now have direct access, direct access on their smartphone to a detailed map of special events. 
such as crime con crime conditions. Quality. So from what he's saying, every officer has a smartphone. So when they have the phone, it's not their, their personal phone. They're looking at communication that he's explaining that they're getting. So this is this is their new technology. Life conditions, street closures, traffic diversions, hospital or pub other public or other safety locations. This gives officers more specified information for, for a special event they are at, as well as the ability to better inform others that need information at that time. Our next generation radio network and radios. We are enhancing our entire radio network from more than 50 year old copper technology to a fully integrated fiber network. It not only increases network resiliency and effectiveness, but also gives us the capability to observe uh, network issues in real time. In conjunction with the network upgrades, we have started deploying Apex Next radios with improved communications and the ability to increase inter interoperability with other agencies. This gives us improved capability to coordinate in real time as events are unfolding across the city. It also supplies real time location information and has secondary LTE backhaul in case of an RF network dead spot or a network failure. Our UAS or our drone program. Drones are our most dynamic and evolving technology we are utilizing. They are used as aerial support and situation for officers on the ground. Even though all you need is a FA-107 license to operate a drone, our pilots get a more extensive training through our safety course with safety as a top priority. Their use case potential is always being evaluated. We currently deploy response, drone response vehicles 24 seven, as well as attend every major planned event. We operate a full fleet of approximately 46 drones consisting of different sizes for different use cases. We operate our drones for specific flying missions and not just fly them up and down the blocks solely for surveillance as some people have portrayed. We can fly our drones in a moderate, in moderate wind or rain as well as locations a helicopter may not be able to operate. All drones have cameras with infrared and heat signature capabilities, which are beneficial in low or no light situations. They have additional attachments such as high powered spotlights, audio projection only speakers and deployable safety flotation devices. Drones can be used in many situations, such as crime and collision so, uh, scene surveys and mapping, barricaded subject suspect scenarios, persons in crisis threatening to jump from an elevated structure, search and rescue operations, surveying during severe weather events, such as past flooding events we've seen in the city, search for wanted suspects, canvassing for missing persons, surveying of buildings and structures, such as bridges or structural collapses, similar to what we saw in the Bronx uh, a few weeks ago, safety surveys during uh, issued search warrants, beach and shoreline surveys for sharks, along with distressed swimmers, pedestrian and traffic monitoring at large events, Drones have given police commanders and executives the ability to make real-time police personnel movement decisions from a remote location if needed. Police executives get the whole picture in real time as the events are unfolding. We can now see through a multi-pane of glass instead of just solely relying on information being relayed back from the street on the ground. We are always looking at new and innovative ways to utilize drones in our public safety missions. As technology continues to evolve, it becomes an indis indispensable tool in our public safety arsenal, contributing to over overall mission of safeguarding communities and responding effectively to crises. I will close with this. The technological advancements within the 21st century have been and continue to be astronomical. We can't be afraid of using technology. Rather, we need to embrace it because it will, will be and continue to be uh, the key to enhancing public safety. Thank you.